<laughs> What's going on, guys? I usually don't record this late, but holy crap, we got some fire dropped on us by the devs. We got a patch and a bunch of announcements, uh, a whole bunch of hype, uh, just so much awesome stuff going on. <laughs> let's let's go over it. Feel free to read through this on your own if you want, uh, but feel free to listen to me talk if you'd rather listen to me talk. Um, so, coming up, four days from now, we get our next playable comic, August 8th. It's going to come with a whole bunch of goodies. Um, playable comics, we're going to get two new cards, I think, or at least uh, one new card, and a special dark side card back and a thousand dual coins. The new card we're getting is Bursting Boom Tube. Boom Tube? <laughs> I almost said Boob Tube. Uh, fills your slots with parademons, which give your other parademons plus one attack on death. A uh, pretty decent little zoo card. Um, and we also get a whole bunch of... Um, other stuff to talk about in the patch notes but more importantly the most important thing to see here is starting next tuesday august 8th we are getting weekly patches including bug fixes content card balance and more weekly patches i could not ask for more from the game right now this is exactly what people were hoping for communication on the plans what to expect um so if we're getting weekly changes it makes everything just so much better um i really hope they stick to the card balance every week even if it's just a small tweak here or there up and down have fun with it experiment i, I we're in beta let's 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 get crazy uh but i am so encouraged and so happy to see this uh you guys have absolutely no idea obviously the comic is also going to be a lot of fun and i'm excited to do it um but this i think is going to be the single most important line of what we cover today that we are getting weekly patches with a whole host of things involved in it um it does not get any better than that but let's try and make it better than that let's go ahead and look at the patch notes um i'm not going to read through every single little thing uh there's a lot of bugs that were fixed um a lot of good things here uh but just great stuff in general to keep an eye on um but here's what we got now Steve Trevor is now a 2-3. That is a very minor nerf for a card that's probably still one of the best cards in the game, but the 2-2 two -two versus 2-3 means this guy gets ambush bugged. Um, he gets hit by Flash before like a Wonder Woman buff. Um, so that's pretty big. Same with Wildcat. Wildcat used to be essentially a 4-4 four -four if you got the buff off. Now he's going to be a 3-2. Just makes him a little bit easier to remove. Um, stocks in ambush bug just going up in the early game. Talia is going from a 4-4 to a 5-4. Um, I still don't think she's going to be that great of a card, but 5 attack means she now synergizes with Black Adam, something to keep in mind. Also, Black Adam's a slower deck, so Talia is a form of healing for that deck. I believe this is a... Um, the patch note got overwritten, but we have confirmation that this is a buff to culling. It is going from 3 attack or less to 4 attack or less, so that is a massive buff for culling four attack is was a pretty big break point culling is now a really really good aoe card next we've got energy blast the bronze removal for energy was three damage going up to four damage uh that'll allow it to scale pretty well into the mid game right now it was just like a really good bronze removal card but it wasn't that good on silver and gold recruits now four damage makes that little bit extra important uh, Savage Vines, which is the recruit that is spawned by Ivy's ability, went from a 3-2 to a 3-3. Uh, makes it that much more difficult to deal with, um, that one more resilient, can trade into some things. Uh, just a really solid buff for Ivy in general. Hellblaze, which I think is the gold energy AoE, was 3 damage to everything, now it is 4 damage to everything. Um, that was big as well. Um, I talked about it a bit on the podcast this week, but... Um, the AoE for energy just was not strong enough to really be worth playing. Four damage is a lot better. And finally, the change that I'm most excited for, Chaselon now says whenever you play a Green Lantern, generate a bronze resource. Um, it used to be only the first time each turn, now it is whenever. So now that makes the turn with Hal even crazier, um, means you can play multiple Green Lanterns on a single turn. Um, this is just a very big change for Lanterns. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of various uh, bug fixes in here. A couple bug fixes that were confirmed by the devs in Discord. I just want to read it off my phone. Um, that were not in these patch notes. Poison Kiss is now fixed. Detective Chimp should no longer be marked incorrect 
if it shows cards that were in the deck. Uh, so some detective chimp bugs. And lead from the front is now fixed as well, as well as Candle of Necron had an exploit, not an exploit, but we'll call it a bug that you could exploit, where you did not get the minus six health every turn. Uh, now that is fixed as well. So we got a massive number of changes um, for this patch, and we're going to be getting weekly patch patches moving on. A um, whole bunch of bug fixes, which is, I think one of the biggest things people were looking for was to be at least see some sort of cadence for what can we expect bug fix wise balance patch wise um we even got some light new features uh basically they said reconnect is now in the game but consider it kind of like a beta not fully working but it is there which is great um a couple other um minor known issues but we got a good amount of bug fixes um we got some additional support for black adam uh we got Bug fixes to Detective Chimp, Poison Kiss, two of the biggest cards that I was hoping for. Massive buff to Culling. Uh, massive buff to Green Lanterns. Um, slight bounce here. The other thing I wanted to call attention to is this paragraph down here. I wanted to save that for last. The devs are saying, we know you're interested in changes to Wonder Woman and Batman. Uh, they're taking a holistic approach to delivering that and looking at all the cards they interact with, such as the gadgets for Batman. Wonder Woman just has a bunch of strong recruits. Um, I think here is more or less a confirmation that some sort of change is coming. They're saying, we'll let you know soon how we will take action. Which reads to me, action is coming, and they're going to tell us what that action is soon. Um, I assume within the next patch or two, which now we don't have to assume how long that'll be. It won't be months. It'll be within probably the next week or two we'll hear something at a minimum, I would guess. Um, if not, actually have those changes roll out. So pretty big buffs for Tyranny in this patch. We got some solid buffs for Energy, specifically Green Lanterns. And we have confirmation that Batman and Wonder Woman are on the radar and they're looking at some changes soon. And we have a new comic coming on Tuesday. Do things really get any better than that? What an incredible surprise for a Friday night. I was already very optimistic about this game, but this was the exact kind of like punch in the face of good news from the developers that really are going to start this weekend off fantastically. Um, so yeah, that's all I got, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this patch. Let me know any of your kind of hot takes, your knee-jerk reactions to the balance changes, or does this make you feel a bit better about things moving forward? Let me know how you all feel. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.